Okay, here's a little update out using the uh, diesel heater. I just want to show you something I've done. This seems to be working pretty good. So you can see this hose here. I have inside, it's the regular three inch. It connects inside here to my four inch, which goes inside here. And I have the six inch just wrapped around it. Now, there's absolutely no warmth on this whatsoever. It's cold out here, and uh, I'll just show you. It's, uh, you know, winter, ice fishing. It's cold. And so, uh, the wind is blowing on it. It's quite windy right now. I'm in the lee side of the tent. And um, that has insulated that pipe, so I'm not losing all the heat. Let's have a quick look inside. I have this on setting uh, four. It's upside down, but um, let's see. It's uh, almost 15 degrees in here. And it's 15 degrees everywhere. Like that, that's one thing I'll point out. It's 15 degrees everywhere because it's blowing. I have that vent right here and it's blowing the hot air as opposed to just being in one spot and only getting a little bit of heat. So anyway, there's an update. One other thing is I ran this for almost 24 hours on my battery. I charged it last night. Um, I went through um, just over three quarters of a tank of fuel in 24 hours running at four. Um, one was a little too cool and 10 was way too hot. So I ran it at four and 14, 15 degrees seems quite comfortable. And uh, so yeah, three quarters of a tank of fuel and the battery last night uh, before I went to bed at 9.30, it was at, um, the battery was at 12.6 and I ran it overnight. Uh, and this morning at first light, which is around 6.30, maybe quarter to seven, um, it was 12.3. So I had a full day of battery left if I wanted to, but I brought my little generator and uh, it's charged back up. So ready to go for today. All right, there's your update. Thanks for hanging out. Well, there's the heater going. It's first thing in the morning. I just turned it up to four. I had it running all night on two because it warmed up, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, it's 19 degrees, almost 20 degrees in here. I'm gonna have to turn it down because it is getting a little bit, a little bit warm in here. The temperature has come up overnight. Um, it was minus 16, I think it's minus 10 now. And here's what we're dealing with. White out conditions. It's snowing hard. So. Anyway, the first um, three day test of the um, diesel heater went fantastic. I had a little issue when I got here, and I don't know if it was because it was jostling, I was getting an 07 error. I have no idea what it is because I don't have internet out here. So just listening to the sound of the startup, it wasn't getting anywhere to the pump or anything. The fan itself was seized. I stuck my screwdriver in there, gave it a little flick, it started right up, and it's been running for um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so, so almost three full days right now. And um, I'm gonna be packing up pretty soon. I was a little cold first night, but I was doing an experiment. I had it on one, and um, I think it was like eight degrees in here, and I only brought an eight degree bag. So, um, yeah, it was just a little bit chilly, but no big deal. I didn't turn it up because I wanted to do a scientific experiment, and so the experiment passed. I I think this was great. So last night I had this on uh, two overnight, uh, or three, and it used one third the tank of fuel, and it went from 12.6 volts on my battery, which I had topped up um, at eight o'clock it shut off. So at eight o'clock till eight o'clock this morning, um, I have 12 volts on my battery. So the battery tests were good. I still brought a generator because I didn't know what to expect for all that, all that time, but so far working good. And um, 
yeah, it's nice and quiet, dry heat. I even hung my wet socks from it, dried really fast. I didn't have to burn them like on my de on my propane heater. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty stoked about the whole deal. And the only thing that I don't like about it is that I had to bring a bunch of different pairs of gloves just to keep the diesel stink off my hands. I had to wrap the diesel container and stuff in plastic bags to keep it separated. So a little bit of a diesel trade-off there. But that said, um, I ran this whole three days. I still have more than half a tank out there um, on $12 worth of diesel. So there's a good trade-off too. And I didn't have to go down to a propane store to, to get it filled. Anyway, that's the update for that for now. And uh, good luck for you guys out there in your diesel heaters. They're working pretty good.